Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pleated circle skirt. Let's get into this. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is get our waist measurement. My dress form waist measurement is 31. So we're gonna divide that by 3.14. And that's going to come out to 9.87 inches. But you're like, what is 9.87 inches? So we're gonna turn that into centimeters. So that's 25.07 centimeters. Sometimes people don't want to deal with centimeters either. They want it in a fraction. So the fraction is nine and seven eighths. How did I know it's nine and seven eighths? Well, this is what you do. You take the measuring tape and you put the pin in the 25 centimeter mark and flip it over. And you will see that it's very close to nine and seven eighths. The next step is to get some pattern paper. This is going to be a short skirt because if I make it long, you're not going to be able to see it. I do need better camera lens that's next to buy. So you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm showing big projects. So let's fold the paper once, just once. Usually we fold it twice like this when we are doing a full circle skirt. But today we are doing a half circle skirt, so just fold it once. Let's plug in a number. I'm going to pick the fraction. It's up to you if you want to use centimeters or fraction. So my number is nine and seven eighths, and you're going to put your number. You could use a ruler or a measuring tape. It's all up to you. Here's my nine and seven eighths right here. I'm going to mark it all around like this. This is called the radius. Next is the length desired for your skirt. Mine's is 12 plus a half inch seam allowance. I usually put 16 inches depending on my dress form or my client, but for demonstration purposes, I will just put 12 and a half inch seam allowance. Next, put your seam allowance on your waist. I'm putting mine's, which is a half inch. Once you do that, you can clean it up with a curved ruler. Next, fold the paper once and make a crease. Then open it up and make a line on all the creases. Now this part might get a little confusing, but stay with me, okay? You have to make three pieces of this, but not yet because we're not finished making the pattern. But for now, you can write on the pattern. You can put add two of these or make two more of these. However you want to write it, the total pieces have to be three. The reason for this is because I don't want you to waste pattern paper. So what I do is I make one and I put it on the fabric to cut three times. Because what's the sense of making three of the same thing on paper? Let's finish the pattern. Take the measurement tape and measure from crease to crease. That's one line to the next line, like this. These are panels. They are all the same measurement, so you only need the measurement from one panel. Once you get the measurement, then you can divide it by three. So my measurement is eight. Let's divide eight into three. That's going to be 2.66 inches. But you're like, what is 2.66? Cause I'm like, what's 2.66? <laughs> but let's think about it. 2.5 is two and a half. So you guys already know that it's going a little bit over two and a half, but you don't know exactly. So let's find out in centimeters. I'm gonna do the math now. So in centimeters, it will be 6.75. And if you want it in a fraction, it will be two and three fourths. How do I know that? I just basically put it on 6.7. It could have been 6.8 because of that five, but I just put 6.7 and the fraction is two and three fourths. It's close to three fourths. Next, take that two and three fourths and put it on the same panel you measured. Then put another two and three fourths here. You continue this through the whole panel. 
To do that, you have to use scissors or this tool, which is called a pattern notcher. This tool is used to let you know where to cut on your fabric. So you basically just cut through both sides like this. Also, when you open it up, don't forget to notch the middle right here. The next step is your seam allowance. I added some paper to both sides, then I put a half inch. The reason why I don't put the seam allowance at the beginning is because I don't want it to mess up the math for the pleats. So I always do it after I calculate for the panels. Let's get into the fun part. Take one notch to the left, like this. Then take the other notch to the right. Let's do it again. Take one notch to the left and the other notch to the right. You do the same thing to the rest of the panels like this. This is what the pattern looks like, but don't forget that you have to lay this pattern on the fabric and cut it three times. Here is your seam allowance, so you just connect the pieces and sew it. The fabric that I used is 100% cotton, but you can also use fabric with a little bit more weight, like for an example, satin. And this is the back of the skirt where the zipper goes. As you can see, the pleat will hide it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about Rigeline Boning, here's a video for you, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, everybody.